Hey guys, Cindy out here with my Artsy Endeavors. How are we doing today? Um, I'm doing okay. Hanging in there the best I can. Um, all right, today we're going to work on some more ABCs. Now, um, just to give you guys a little heads up, yeah, I'm only bringing these out once every couple weeks because, um, you know, I'm, I'm dealing with the uh, whole chronic pain issue and it's coming and going and coming and going and I just... I want to give them to you in a steady manner, but I don't know as I can physically do them once a week. So um, it's all good. So we're on our ABCs. Um, we actually have, we are on letter C. Now I have plain tags in here, and I also have some of these tags that I've used embossing folders on. And I decided today I wanted to use one that I've done embossing on. So you know what? I'm going to use this one right here. So we'll just set this to the side for now. All right, um, as, you, as you've seen on the first couple, what I'm doing is the back side. Um, I'm doing the, the bad words or the, the hard chronic pain words that begin with a C. And on the front side, I'm doing what I am doing um, myself to um, take care of those issues that I have on the back. So first of all, let's get this started by throwing some paint down. Um, let me see what I want to use. Let's take a little bit of this. I just got this one. This is a dark plum. I was looking for um, like a, I don't know what you call the name of it. I was looking for another plum color and I couldn't find it. The only thing I could find was this dark plum. So we're gonna use that. And you know what? I'm gonna grab a little bit of, this is a light antique white. So we're gonna use these two paints. This one I just want to make sure. Okay. So now, I like I said, this is embossed. The back side of this is um, is is textured already, but we're just gonna play. We're gonna put some paint down, and we're gonna put a little bit of this antique white down, and just let's see what we can do. So the C words that. Um, I've got water on this brush, so the C words that I've got going on, um, uh, there's a few of them. One of them I think you guys can guess right off the top, and when the pain gets really, really bad, one of the things we all like to do, at least most of us, I should say, I'm talking for myself, is cry. Um, if I get in a really, really bad shape, yeah, I, I tend to start crying, and it really has to get bad for me to do that. Um, and then all that does is makes the pain worse. Um, I'm sure you guys have all heard that, you know, don't cry over spilt milk, that type of thing. Um, and it just makes it worse. It, it makes the whole, the pain worse. It makes the feelings that, you know, um, about the whole situation worse. It's just, it's not fun. So yeah, I cry. Um, I'm trying not to do it as often. I try not to let my pain get that far so that I feel like I have to cry. Um, but, you know, there's days when you just you can't do it anymore, and it happens. Um, I don't see it ever changing. I don't see it ever going away. So it is what it is. It's, you know, it's chronic pain. We have to deal with it. I have to live with it, and so that's just the way it's going to be. So that's one of the words is, like I said, is cry. Um, another one that I was thinking about when I was, um, you know, doing the ABCs for the chronic pain is a lot of times um, we can call them spasms, but I call them cramps. I'll get these wicked, wicked muscle cramps and they're just, they're awful. They're so hard that they just make your whole body um, completely seize up in pain. And you know, we have to take care of those cramps. Our body is not supposed to do that naturally. So that's another thing that I'll be talking a little bit about. And then um, the third thing is the cycles. And that is the cycles of the fibro. You know, I wish we had, you know, we could say, oh geez, on the fifth of every month, you know, I'm gonna have a fibro flare. Yeah, it doesn't work that way. Um, let me go ahead and dry this up and I will be right back.
All right, so I got a few things out here I'm going to play with, and I've pretty well dried this up. Got a sponge here, and I'm just going to take my sponge and put some uh, white paint on this piece of flip flop. And no, it's not a used flip flop. <laughs> it's a uh, brand new one that I bought like at the dollar store, um, and then cut them apart and made um, stamps out of them. So look how cool this is. Okay, that was one side of the flip flop. This was the other side. And look how neat. Look at the neat marks they make. I just, I love them. Anything that I can find that's got some type of a texture on it, I love using it. Um, got a little bit of washi tape here. All right, so we were talking about crying cramps and cycles. Yeah, you know, unfortunately, um, when you live with chronic pain, that's all part of the process. And does it stink? Absolutely. Um, so, so what are you going to be able to do to, you know, I hear people saying, yeah, so what do I do? Well, the front side is going to be um, what we do about those things. And, but first I want to do this pay. I want to do this tag. So um, here's some more washi. You know, I was thinking today, they don't make a whole lot of like white washi tape. You know, it's it like they have designs, but they don't have just, I don't know. I don't know what I'm looking for. Like just a white sparkly, I guess. I don't know. Something different. But I just want to throw some of this on here. And yeah, even though um, this is embossed, I can still use it over all of that texture, which is really cool. So I'm just, just a play in. All right, so there's that. Now I have this. This is a silicone, um, one of those silicone pot holder pads, um, heat pads that you either sit your pot on or hold it with. And, oh, sorry, I got a hair in my mouth. Um, I'm gonna do the same thing with this and just make some marks. Just a little bit of white paint. Makes a little bit different mark than the um, flip-flop does. Now, I do want to do some black in here, so I'm going to grab my black paint and do the same thing. I'm just going to put a little bit here on my palette. I'm going to use my white sponge, and I'm just going to change it to black. All right, so let's throw a little bit of black on here. Yeah. All right, so there's my black sponge. And let's do the same on this. The flip flop. Throw some black lines on there. And we'll do some black dots. There we go. All right, so I had fun with those. Let's put those back, which they go in this drawer, which I'm gonna have to fix because my top is broken. All right, um, I'm just gonna take my Sharpie. Um, talking about crying, when it comes down to that, I do, I do have a good cry, and I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I think every now and then it's healthy to have a nice cry, whoops, nice cry, and get all of that out of your system, don't you? I do. So sometimes, you know, I'm like, just let me get it out, and then we'll discuss it. All right, so what am I gonna put on here? Well, I was playing around the other day. Actually, I have a couple things. This is a donut um, punch that I bought the other day. And you know, I think I'm gonna use this. I might use this. Um, butterflies too big, flower, and eh, no. What else do we have in here? No, 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 I kind of like that, but that's too big. All right, we're gonna play around with this donut hole. This is just one of those, I think it came from Tim Holtz, um, Deca cards. And I am just going to get my crocodiles over here where I can reach out. Um, I'm just gonna do these in the stub side. So 
So here's our C. We're going to use that. This is just, this is a crap -a dial and it does a ticket side, a ticket stub side, and a scallop side. And I really like these. So that's that one. Now, what am I going to do with these? Let's see. I cut them down. Actually, if I go like this. Let's see how we can make them come in here. Doo -doo. You're seeing my thought process right now, guys. Just trying to figure out how I can make these look. different. I'm not sure I like them. All right, let me rethink this. I'll be right back. All right, guys. So I, I, I've been pulling stuff out, putting stuff back, pulling more stuff out. And I'm just uh, having a rough time with this card today. So this is what we're going to do. Um, I've got these little tags. These little tags were actually uh, given to me, I believe, um, to use in large Marge. And for some reason, I just found them. So I was like, ooh, these will be perfect. So I'm gonna put our three words on here and we're gonna put these on, somebody just pinged me. Um, we're gonna put these on my tag. So in essence, I'm gonna have tags on tags. Tags on a tag. So how it goes, tags on a tag. And we're gonna put our words on here and then we're just gonna simply decorate the back of this and then the front um, is where I really want to do the decoration because really the front is going to be the positive. The back is more um, the complaint or the negative or, you know, not even a negative. It's more the issue, the symptom, that type of thing. So let me just pop these dry. Let me take a second. Not a lot of paint on there. And it's all good. I don't need a whole lot of paint. I just want them dry when I use my markers on them. All right, and then I have this little tiny punch. This is something that um, I've had for quite a while. I don't know, can you see the size of the hole? Right there, that little brown circle. And I love this little punch. So I'm gonna use that. So the first thing we're gonna do is figure out where I wanna put these on here. And let's do it like this. Let's do it something on this line. And I got out some brads here. This is a squirrely do. It's probably a winter brad, but that's okay. It's going to be a spring one for right now. And I'm just going to punch where my hole is going to be as soon as I can see it. Right there. And we're going to throw this brad in. Now, um, these are going to be on the back side, which is okay because we're going to cover them up. That's not a problem. So there's one. Let's take our bottom one and we'll put that one on. Let's say right about there. And we'll put this curly Q on there. Um, I don't know where my little hammer is, so. Use the back of an X-Acto knife, I know. Oops! <laughs> That's what happens. Oh, there should be extra blades in there. There's not. Now that I broke my X-Acto knife. <laughs> See what happens when you use things as a hammer that aren't supposed to be a hammer? There we go. Alright, and we're going to do it again. So let's put this one right about here. Sounds good, right? So like I said, these, oops, maybe not. Oh, let me get my, this one has a bigger hole, but it's okay, we'll use it. All right, and this one's gonna be a star. We're gonna put right there. them out. All right, yeah, see that's more what I was looking for on the back. I didn't really want the back um, 
really decorative. So um, let's see, here's a purple. All right, so our first one is Cry. All right, our second word was Cramp. Oh, I got too much junk here on my desk. Um, the second one was Cramp. And the third one was Cycle. So let's do Cramp here. And I just want to outline the tag. Now, what do you guys do when you, um, you know, have these issues? Do you have a set thing to do? Um, this is cycle. Cycles. All right, I don't want to put any more on this. So what I'm going to do now is just heat it real quick with a heat gun, just so that that ink, if it is wet, you know, I dry it up. And we're gonna start working on this backside. So let's talk about what do we do. Like I said, every now and then, I don't think there's anything at all wrong with crying. Um, so I'll have a good cry. I, I will, you know, um, and grab a box of tissues and just let loose because sometimes you just have to it's just it's cleaning for the soul i i believe it's cleaning for the soul so let me just um we're gonna get some paint on here and i am going to use the same colors but i want to just do it a little bit differently all right just have some lightness in there so what do we do? Um, the biggest word I'm going to use right now is change. I make a change, whether it's where I'm at, how I'm sitting, how I'm laying, what medications I've taken that day, um, you know, um, the activity that I'm doing. Um, and with cycles, another thing I do is I just, I, it's not a C word, but I accept it. Cycles are going to happen. It's okay. It's part of the disease, and we're going to be fine. So let me dry this up. All right, so I've got this um, this dry. So now this is a stencil that um, my husband has created for me. Um, we've been having fun with it, so I'm going to use this. And we're going to put some of the darker on here. All right, so we're talking about how do we make a change. Um, you know, sometimes there's not really anything we can do about a cycle. It just comes. We have to deal with it. Um, and what I, one of the ways I've learned how to deal with that is just accept, okay, well, today's going to be a catch-up on Netflix day. Or today's going to be a, you know, chilling on the couch. I might as well catch up on, you know, some reading day today. And... You know, it's okay. Does it frustrate us? Absolutely. But you know, it's all right. Let me dry that real quick. And then what I want to do is I want to take a white pen and highlight some of this. Or black. I think we'll do white. But I just want to get it nice and dry so I don't ruin one of my pens. So we're going to make a change. And there's several different ways to do it. You've got to be creative um, when it comes to making those changes let me grab my white this is a cheapy Posca type pen and this one I think is almost out of ink maybe um, so you got to be creative sometimes you have to put your chin up and say hey you know what I've got to do this I have ooh now it's got lots of ink coming out or paint I should say um, so sometimes you just have to go chin up, right? Oh, I don't know as I like all that paint coming out, but hey, I don't have any other choice at this point. It's happening. So yeah, um, chin up, be creative. 
you know, if you feel a flare coming on and you know you're going to end up with some downtime, what can you do during that downtime? Have um, what I call a go bag together or a couch bag together. Um, know that when I have a really bad day, okay, I can fussy cut these images on my bad day. I can, um, you know, check out YouTube videos. Put them on your watch later list. Um, you know, get creative in how you can deal with what you've got to go through during that time period. Um, and, and, you know, don't forget, keep your chin up. It's okay. You will make it through this. It will get better. Um, even if it's just a little bit better tomorrow and a little bit more better, more better, <laughs> the next day. It takes a really positive mind to make it through some of this stuff. And that's when I, you know, that's what I mean when I talk about change. Change the way you think, the way you look at it. You know, instead of looking at, at it as a negative, okay, well, let's look at it as a positive. Well, geez, during my next flare, you know, I'm going to get a lot of fussy cutting done because, you know, that's what I can do during the flare. Or, geez, I can catch up on the videos that I haven't been able to watch because I've been feeling good enough to create on my own. So, like I said, chin up, make a change, make it a positive change if you can. Um, don't get me wrong, there's going to be times when you just want to sit and cry, and you know what, that's okay. Make sure you have your tissues with you, um, make sure you have something to drink, and by the time you're done, your body's going to be like, okay, whew, that's over, what do I do now? Let me dry this, I'll be right back. All right, I just flipped me back over to the back because I do want to put these C's on there. See, I'm going back and forth, back and forth. It's all good. So let me throw these on here. Just, I do. I want them on. I want my C's on. I was actually looking at stuff that I want to put on the front, and I saw these, and I was like, you know, I really want these on the back. So here they are. And I might come back in a little bit and do some doodling around them or some dots or something. But for now, they're on there. All right, so... We talked about the change. We got to be creative with our change. We have to keep our chin up. And I just love this little house. Um, this came off a calendar from last year, I believe, and I just thought it was really cool. So let's put this this little house on here. Just gonna use regular glue stick. It won't go anywhere. So just putting my little house on here. And then I saw this really cool purple bird. I know, lots of purple, right? But he's cute. He's going oops, he's going to go right there. And he will stay. And then I'm going to outline him a little bit in white. Or black, maybe black, because I am going to put the word creative on here. Because we have to get creative with our change. And stay creative and stay positive about, you know what, it's okay, it's a flare-up, we're good. Um, keep our chin up, I'm just going to put that there. And I wanted to put change on here, but I'm not going to. So um, now I want my black, I'll just dry this really quick. Regular Sharpie. Yeah. So I hope this helps you a little bit, um, at least, you know, gives you an idea, um, you know, what you can do in place of, you know, just really having a rough day. You can, you know, change things up, uh, maybe with one flare instead of laying in bed every time you get a massive flare. What about trying on the couch? Um, you know, what about a, a lounger out in your backyard if it's a beautiful day? I mean, try different things and make the changes that you need to help your body and to help your mental as well as your physical self um, do what you need to have done and get through it. So you can do this. I have faith in you. Um, I have done it. I'm doing it on a daily basis. Uh, to be honest with you, right now while I'm creating this, I'm sitting here on ice. I'm in quite a bit of pain. That's why I may seem kind of like, Hoo -hoo. but, um, you know, I, I'm doing everything I can to try to stay, um, you know, off pain meds as much as I can, yet still, um, 
be able to create and enjoy what I do and share what I do with you. All right. So there we go. There we have it. We have our C. Um, our C is cry, cramps, and cycles. Uh, we didn't talk much about the cramps or what I call muscle spasms. A lot of times when I have them, before I even feel them coming, I'll try to stretch whatever area it is. I have a lot of them in my legs. So I will try to stretch out my leg before the cramp actually comes. Sometimes it works. Other times it doesn't. Um, you know, ice, heat, uh, rubbing, any type of a, a rubbing cream. Um, I use those a lot. Um, I, I tend to go to my Blue Emu. That seems to help a lot with my cramps. Um, you know, we talked about having a good cry, and we talked about a little bit about the cycles, and the cycles being the fibromyalgia, or it could be depression, it could be anxiety, it could be panic attacks, whatever the t whatever the disease is or the disorder is that you're working through. Um, again, let's try and change. Let's you know be creative in how we endure those times and let's keep our chin up because it's got to get better right all right guys i hope you've enjoyed this um, as always like comment share and subscribe and if you have any questions leave them in the comments below i'll be glad to answer them for you and this is going to go in our c spot i'm not going to put it here yet until it completely dries but there we go we have our c next uh in two weeks we'll be on to our d all right. Hope you guys have enjoyed. As always, have fun. That's what life's all about. Happy creating, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.